Hey what's up guys, in this video, I will talk about an awesome library which can be used to render mathematical expressions in text format. That library is Ktex and if you don't know what Tex is then it is a system for typesetting complex mathematical expressions and formulas. So when you need to render math formulas in your web pages, then Ktex is one of the best available option that you have because Ktex is packed with a bunch of features and it can be used both on server side and also in the client browsers. Ktex has many features which makes it a better alternative when compared to other options. It is fast, self-contained and produces high quality text output for the mathematical expressions or formulas that we provide to it as an input. And it is really very easy to set up Ktex in the browser. Just add the link and script elements to fetch the stylesheet and JavaScript and you are set to use Ktex in your web pages. There are basically three ways to use Ktex and render the math expressions. And you can find these ways in this API documentation. Its link is there in the video description. So Ktex.render will accept the output element as an argument if you just want to render the output directly. Ktex.render to a string can be used if you want to retain the math expression and maybe send it from server to client to render in the browser. In all of these functions, you will have to provide the Ktex expression in the format which is specified by the supported functions and supported table guide. You will have to use double backslash to escape the function and symbols in the text expression that you will provide as an argument. But if you don't want to do that, then you can use string.raw before the expression text. But the documentation says that there are some cases which still need backslash to escape characters. So I guess just use double backslashes everywhere if that is going to guarantee that there will be no problems. Inside the body of this HTML page, there is a div element with the ID div math output. And when the DOM content loaded event will be fired, then the inner HTML of this div will simply be set with the output which will be returned when calling the ktext.render to string function with the argument of this expression. So this expression is simply about finding the square root of this value. Let's now run this web page in the browser to see how the expression is going to look like in the text format. So this is the expression which has been rendered and applied as HTML within the div element. You can refer to the list of functions and symbol table to get to know how to write the math expression that you need to render in your web page. Make sure to use double backslash when using any of the symbol or functions. You can check out this documentation for more installation options. For example, if you want to install it using npm, then you will have to use the command npm install and then ktex. You can check out other options as well, which are displayed in this options page. You can use different font formats if you want to apply a specific compression types when the font are going to be downloaded. There are some other options available for the font files as well, like their size and length. As far as security for code injection attacks is concerned, the documentation says that the HTML generated by the Ktex should be safe from a script or any other code injection attacks. So I believe for the most part, we don't really have to worry about such kind of injection attacks. There are also extensions of Ktex available for popular frameworks like Angular, React and Vue if you ever decide to use Ktex with these frameworks. So you can just use these extensions directly when you are working within these frameworks. And that would be everything to see in this video. Please like it and subscribe to this channel for more such videos. I am Nitej and I will see you next time. Till then, stay safe and have fun.